we went around we uh, questionnaires we, uh, a member of the, members of the community knocked on every single door in Scalway and gave them a, a questionnaire to pull out about the, the, the village and all the, the issues that were going to come up and the recreate Scalawa and as well as filling the questionnaires always be a bit of conversation with the people on the doorsteps. Uh, the walk arounds, well initially uh, me and some of the other community councillors had a couple of walks around, we walked around the seafront and we walked right up around the back of the village but the most interesting one was done by the children from the youth club. That one of the problems is that there's poor access for disabled and what they did was they got wheelchairs, uh, walking aids and they went through the village just trying to find out how somebody that had difficulty, how easily they could uh, get through the street and cross the street with a drop curbs and all this kind of thing. The online response has been uh, particularly good. A lot of people have been attracted into it who otherwise probably wouldn't have um, left the house to come to a public hall to sit in a, a workshop type event, but they've still had ample opportunity to provide their input uh, from the comfort of their own homes and, and uh, computers or smart devices. Uh, somebody drew up a series of uh, posters with just a simple question on them like, what do you like about Scalloway? What could be improved in Scalloway? And every day, one of them was put on uh, the Scalloway Community Council Facebook page and we invited comments. Some of them have got more comments than others, but they probably were a bit more controversial, but uh, it did help engage with the, the people in the village. Highlight information that's coming in that's maybe not part of the uh, the scope of the consultation that's being made, but are things that people are interested in anyway. Mark them up, gather them together, pass them through the proper channels and, uh, and deal with it all as one holistic package rather than sticking to the focus of the creation of a place plan. Take it every uh, step to identify um, short-term goals as well as uh, the medium and long-term goals of a consultation such as this so that uh, there could and should be uh, ways that uh, people can see that their opinion has been heard, uh, that it's been considered to be worthwhile and that something will happen as, a, as, a, as an outcome of the effort that they've uh, put into it because the the worst case scenario is to develop a community plan or a, a local place plan that uh, arrives on a shelf and remains there uh, and people walk away from it saying, what happened there? Uh, that's your worst possible outcome.